Good day everyone. Today we're gonna discuss about the students who are blind or have low vision. Man's capacity to use his or her visual mechanism places him or her on the top of all other creatures in the world. There is no doubt that in the list of the basic human senses, vision is number one, followed by audition or hearing, touch, smell, and taste. Authorities state that although human uses all his senses simultaneously in gathering varied stimuli from the environment, nearly 80% of all knowledge and information that man acquires in his or her lifetime are gained through visual modality. With the use of human intelligence mainly through vision, man has attained superiority over all other species in the world as shown in the tremendous advances in technologies through the centuries. A writer possesses two questions on how much man values human sight. Through the centuries, how many have really appreciated God's greatest gift to human? At the end of this chapter, the students will be able or we will be able to describe the anatomy and physiology of the human eye and how the process of vision takes place. With hands that guide, when a person is blind, it does not mean that he or she is totally incapable of doing things. Their hands guide them to do of what they want and how to help others. 11-year-old Mary Jane Venus has a big responsibility to help three of her blind classmates climb four floors. <clears throat> Using the trailing system she learned in special education class, Jane guides her classmates hands on the banister and walks behind to make sure they do not stray from the line. When they reach the top floor safely, Jane takes her classmates hands and places them on each other's Ill elbow to form a train. Jane said, I always feel happy when I get to help my other classmates. I do not feel tired because I know they need to help. They need my help to do things which I could do better. Mrs. Kabukal, who is the teacher of Jane or a sped teacher from P.U. Del Pilar Elementary School said, I realized that it was not easy to teach all these children at the same time. She explained that the body system involves an able-bodied child helping a lesser-bodied classmate to perform school activities. The 51-year-old teacher says, low vision kids who could still make out shadows are tasked to help and guide totally blind classmates. Further, she said that her ultimate goal is to make other children who had multiple disabilities aside from blindness become independent. This attitude shows genuine eagerness and passion in teaching. Surely we cannot survive to teach children with disability if we do not have the heart like Mrs. Kabukan. Do you know that even those without sight can use computer? What is use a computer to a blind person if he cannot see the screen nor point the mouse to a desired icon? Some may think that learning how to read and write in braille <coughs> is enough for the visually challenged and complicated tasks requiring sight such as the use of computer should be left to those who can see. Believe it or not, because the recent technology the visually challenged can now make full use of ubiquitous PC, just like any sighted person. Resources for the Blind Incorporated, or the RBI, a non-profit charitable organization in cooperation with IBM Philippines and Nippon Overbrook Foundation, has come up with an annual national computer camp for blind students dubbed Computer Eyes. 20 blind high school students from different parts of the country are chosen to undergo intensive two-week computer training. This workshop focuses on topics such as word processing, email, internet surfing, and even web publishing. Through the use of software that employs a speech synthesis program called JAWS or the Job Access with Speech, blind students can learn the basic of operating a computer. Instead of the mouse, keyboard commands are used allowing the visually challenged to choose from menus, commands, or icons. A headset connects, to the, connects the user to the computer allowing him to listen to the monitor. The advancement of technologies do not just helping able person to fasten their job and communication but it also, it also helps disabled individuals to experience and provide their needs by means of computer. So I salute to those people who invented this kind of opportunities for the disabled person.